And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Weather from where you live. We saw as much as an inch of rain yesterday alone, and really, the good news is things are clearing out and drying out as we speak. 34 degrees right now. Winds out of the northwest, 10 miles per hour. Just a little bit ago, we saw a wind gust as high as 19 miles per hour. That visibility out there right now, around 6 miles, but other areas could be seeing low visibility. So please drive safely if you do see any fog out there throughout the early morning hours. There's the rain that continues to push further off of the east. The good news is clearing conditions to our west will move on in before a round of snow moves in overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. We could be seeing as much as an inch of accumulation overnight tonight and into tomorrow but we do cool down just a little bit as well temperatures dropping down into the mid 30s by tomorrow afternoon and into the weekend before warming up to the mid 40s maybe even the mid 50s by February 1st there's the snow right there moves across Iowa into Illinois and finally into Indiana overnight tonight and into tomorrow once again dropping about an inch of snow after that snow pushes on off things are going to cool down the cold front along with that is actually going to help cool temperatures down just a little bit by tomorrow Sunday much of the same story another round of snow for Sunday morning and early afternoon Afternoon, we could be seeing a more accumulation with that system as it rolls on through. Here's your snowfall forecast through Saturday morning, about a half an inch further to the south. And as you get further to the north, we're talking about an inch of accumulation. Winnemac, about 1.09 inches of snowfall by tomorrow morning. 25 degrees by 9 a.m., 37 by our lunch hour temperatures, warming up to around 43 degrees. By 5 p.m., we are going to be seeing temperatures get up into the mid 40s day. Definitely not a bad day at all with skies clearing throughout the day as well. Partly cloudy and mostly clear skies later on this afternoon before the snow moves on in. 27 degrees overnight tonight. Winds out of the southwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Cooling down quite a bit for tomorrow. 35 degrees, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Cooler to say the least. Winds out of the west around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Maybe even gusting as high as 30 miles per hour at times. Now Saturday 35, 31 on Sunday. Finally warming back up to the 40s on Monday. Again, mostly cloudy skies that day. Tuesday 47, 54 for your high temperature on February 1st. That is not a print. That is not a typo, folks. Things are really going to be warming up here. That's scattered showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms that day as well with some convective activity in the atmosphere. 43 for your high temperature Thursday, cooling down a little bit after the cold front moves on through on Wednesday. All right, and even Groundhog Day looks pretty nice. Maybe, in, you know, maybe you won't see a shadow. Well, you know, we'll see. We'll you know, see. We're, it's a lot different here all the way True. to Pennsylvania. So, you yeah. know, hopefully he won't see a shadow, but we'll see. Let's see what Puxatawney Phil thinks. Exactly.